Hey, what's going on guys? Pizza Lego here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you two easy ways how to create a typewriting effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting more time, let's go straight to my laptop. Inside Premiere Pro, I've got already a image as a background. And the next thing I'll do is press T and create text on the program monitor. Then after we've done that, I'm going to go back to the effect control panel, scroll down to the text, click on to the source text, then go back to the program monitor, select the text and delete it. So once we've done this again, I'm going to go back to the effect control panel, go into the source text and create a keyframe by pressing on the stopwatch. After we've done that, I'm going to press onto the text, go back to the program monitor, make sure that you click on this little red rectangle and type your first letter. Then again, I'm going to go back to the source text, move two frames forward by using the left and right arrows on the keyboard. One, two. Then again, go back to the program monitor. Make sure that you select the red rectangle and type your next letter. Type and then we're going to do exactly the same. Go back to the source, move two frames forward, program monitor and next letter. And when I finish adding all these keyframes, I will play it and see how it looks like. And it looks perfect. But to make it even better, the next thing I'll do is go down to the project panel, click with the right button of the mouse, go to new item and select a black video. Then I'm going to use the same settings as the default one and press OK. And the next thing I will do is grab the black video layer and apply it over the text layer. Just going to zoom out a little bit. And then once we've done this, make sure you select the black video layer, go back to the effect control panel, undo the uniform scale and change the scale width to one and the scale height to 17. Then move the cursor at the beginning of the text and also change the position of the black video layer. So I'm going to move it somewhere over here and then create the first keyframe at the beginning of the text layer. Then I'll move the cursor at the end of the text and also change the position again so we can create our second keyframe. So let's see what it looks like now. And it doesn't look good because it's not synchronized with the text. So to fix that, I'm going to select again the black video layer, move the cursor at the beginning and move frame by frame by using the right arrow of the keyboard because we want this black rectangle to be in front of the letters. So now when I've done synchronizing the text with the black line, I'll play it again and see what it looks like. And this time it's much better. Also, you can add a blipping effect to the black line. I'm just going to extend a little bit the black layer video. And then I'm going to select the razor tool by pressing on C and make a cut there. Then I'm going to move three frames backwards and make another cut here and again. There you go. Then I'm going to delete every other little clip. And when I play it, you're going to see that we've got this blipping effect. Perfect. So that was the first way how to create a typewriter effect. The second way, it's much easier. I just going to delete the black video and also I'm going to select the text and delete all the keyframes because we won't need them in the second method. Then I'll select the text and just type in the same text. Then I'm going to go down to the project panel and select effects. From there, I'm going to type down linear effect. I will grab it and apply it to the text layer and go up to the effect control panel and scroll down to the linear wipe. I'm going to move the cursor at the beginning of the text layer and then I'm going to increase the transition completion to 100%, create our first keyframe. Then I will move the cursor somewhere over here and go down to 0% so we can review the text again. And when I play it, you can see the text appears from right to left, but we don't want that. We want to appear from left to right. So to fix this, I'm going to select again the text layer and go down to the wipe angle. From 90 degrees, I'm going to change it to 270. And when I play it now, you can see that it goes from left to right. But as you can see, the typewriter effect, it doesn't move too quick. So I'm going to move the second keyframe a little bit closer. So let's play it and see if it's 
faster. Yeah, and that's more like typewriter effect. And now the next thing I would do is go back to the project panel and again, select black video. So basically we're gonna do exactly what we've done with the first method. Again, select the black video layer and untick the uniform scale, then change the scale width to one and also the scale height to 17. Move the cursor at the beginning of the video and also change the position as well. And then again, yeah, just change the position of this black line and create the first keyframe over there and move it to the beginning of the video. Then I will move the cursor exactly where the text is finishing and also change the position of the black line. And this will automatically create our second keyframe. So I'll play it again. And as you can see, it's not too bad, but it needs adjusting. Again, it's not completely synchronized with the text. So we're gonna move frame by frame to see where we can improve. To do this, again, I'm gonna use the right and left buttons of the keyboard. I'm just gonna move two keyframes forward. And you can see how far it's the letter from the black line. So I'm just gonna adjust it like that. It has to be in front of the letters, not behind of it. Okay, I didn't need to do much adjusting and now I think it looks much, much better. So let's see it. Brilliant. And that's how you can create the typewriting effect in Premiere Pro. And it's also entirely up to you which way you're gonna use when it comes to create this effect. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one. Also if you'd like to see more tutorials about Premiere Pro you can check the videos at the end of this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.